Now that we have discussed about the chances of outcomes when a coin is tossed, now let's enter <coughs> into understanding empirical probability. This session is about empirical probability. It is also given by the name experimental probability. So empirical or experimental probability. Here E is said to be an event for event E, the event can be tossing a coin or rolling a die or any other playing a card. But for that event, the probability of event E is given by number of trials in which the event E has happened by total number of trials total number of trials is how we define the empirical probability So here the empirical probability or experimental probability of an event E is said to be number of trials in which the event E has happened and by total number of trials. Let's take an example problem to understand this. So if I have find the empirical probability When a die is rolled 60 times in which a number 6 has obtained 15 times on its top surface. So here I have a question which relates to die or a dice. So we all know that a die is usually used with this shape. It has the numbers something like this. So this is the die. So in this case, a die is rolled 60 times. So here, rolling of a die is a trial. So the first thing I identify here is that the trial which I'm talking about in my formula is for this example problem, rolling a die. So rolling a die is my trial. Now, it is rolled totally 60 times. So I have the total number of trials which is 60 because a die is on the whole rolled 60 times in which the number of trials in which the event E has happened. Now here the event E is getting a number 6. Clearly in the question it says of getting a number 6 therefore my event E is getting a number 6 on the top surface as we can see when I roll a die, I can get any number between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. But to get a number 6 is the event on the top surface. So my event is getting a 6 on the top surface. And the experiment conducted has revealed that a number 6 has obtained 
15 times on its top surface. Therefore, I have number of trials in which the event E has happened. That is number of times the die is rolled in which I got a number 6 on the top surface is 15. Therefore, my empirical probability is 15 by total number of trials. That is total number of times the die is rolled as 60 which comes down as how I use the formula 15 over 60 which gives me 1 by 4 therefore my empirical probability of getting a 6 on the top surface is 1 by 4 the percentage chances would be 1 fourth of 100 photos for fives. 25. That means there are 25% chances of getting a 6 on the top surface when a die is rolled 16, 60 times. Empirical probability connected with rolling a die. Formula number of trials in which event E has happened by total number of trials. Now that we have discussed about probability as a chance of happening and not happening with various different examples in its own experimental approach. Now let's try to see some of the properties involved with probability. In the previous example we have seen for a die rolled getting a 6 on the top surface I got my probability value as 1 by 4 that is 25% chances. The value 1 by 4 gives me an understanding that probability is probability always a fraction or is it any natural number or a real number is how we get various questions arising. So let's investigate the range of probability. The probability of an event E is always set to lie between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1. That is, probability of an event E, the event can be tossing a coin, rolling a die, playing cards or playing cricket match, etc. That is, probability of an event E always lies between 0 and 1, inclusive, that is, including 0 and 1. But it cannot cross 1 on the right, cannot cross 0 on the left, which clearly makes me understand that, therefore, is always a fraction except when it is at the end point 0 and 1 except at 0 and 1 the probability is always a fraction is how we come to the learning outcome probability always lies between 0 and 1 inclusive and hence is always a fraction except at 0 and 1. Range of probability for any event A. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.